Okay, so let's go to the next step, which is automation settings here. Automation settings, the first part is the cron job, which we already set up when we were installing WHMCS. So this part has been completed. Let's go to the next one. Automatic module functions. Enable suspension. Yes, we want to enable. Suspend days. Let's make it um, two weeks instead of five days. 14 days is the number of days after the due payment date we want to suspend the account. So that's 14. And enable unsuspension. Yes, if the client has made the payment, we want to resume the account automatically. Enable termination. Yes, we want to enable. And terminate two months after the invoice is due. When they haven't paid the invoice, it can be automatically terminated. Now, invoice uh, generation, which is inside the billing settings. 14, the, the amount um, of days before the due payment to generate invoices yes we want 14 is good payment reminder emails of course tick that to activate invoice unpaid reminder seven days we are going to remind and then one day overdue we are going to remind again and then seven days overdue we are going to remind again and two weeks or 14 days we are going to remind again at late fees, we are not going to do late fees. So I'm going to add or change this to zero. Because we won't be applying late fees. Overage billing charges. We will keep it as default because nothing is changed here. Okay, so next is credit card charging settings process days before due so all this we are not going to change anything because i am going to use paypal but just in case you are using credit card payment system uh, let's go see what this is about process dates before due zero is a good amount which is right on the due date we are going to charge the card attempt only once uh, we want to try it again a few times just in case the first attempt failed. Retry every week for let's enter three times here. And um, credit card expiry notices date 25 day before the card actually expires. We want to send out notices. Do not remove credit card on expiry. Yes, we do want to remove the card if it's already expired. So let's keep that unchecked. So currency auto update settings. We won't be using multi currency because we will only be using US dollars. So this is not relevant. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Just in case you are using multi currency, just um, exchange rate tick this box to attempt to auto update exchange rates daily on um, product prices tick this box to update product prices using the current exchange rate daily it's up to you for your own settings here now domain reminder settings do we want to remind our clients when the domain name is about to expire yes of course so first 60 days before expiry 30 days before expiry, 2 weeks, 1 week, and 1 day before it expires. Okay, so we are going to leave that. It's a good setting. Support ticket settings, close inactive tickets. Yep, we want to do this like maybe in 5 days if there is no response or inactivity. That would be 120 hours. Cancellation request. We want to automatically terminate accounts if they are request cancellation. So we want to have that checked. 
update usage statistics sure we want to update the usage statistics client status update change client status based on active or inactive products this is a good setting so that's the automation and yes we are going to save these changes and proceed with the next step okay that's safe so i'm gonna close this course and we'll see you on the next one